A Texas low will be moving in for the weekend in Ontario, and this is an important one to watch. Track becomes so very important with these storms because it'll be the difference between getting heavy snow, freezing rain, or heavy rain, depending on which side of the fronts you are sitting in your locale. Uh, for example, temperatures Friday to kick things off, nice, 7 degrees, lots of sunshine, partly cloudy conditions in southern Ontario. Meanwhile, minus 2 up in the north. Now we look at Saturday, and if you're getting rain, you're getting mild temperatures and rain, especially in southern Ontario. But then you go up through cottage country, and we're right around that 0 degree mark with some snow, mixed precipitation, and freezing rain. So let's just watch this. It all begins Friday night coming in with rain from Barrie south all the way down to Barrie, oh, it's Windsor rather, and then up through cottage country. That's where we got to watch for that risk of mixed precipitation, a wet sloppy snow, hard to shovel, and even some freezing rain, and then snow to the north of where that freezing rain uh, should sit. So here's kind of an idea. This is what models are projecting right now around the Huron shoreline. It looks like we could see some freezing rain accumulate Saturday night into the pre-dawn early morning hours of Sunday, all the way through the Ottawa Valley and in through Montreal. Bancroft likely looking at freezing rain or at least a messy mix for you. But you get north of that and it'll be snow. You get south of that should be all straight rain and heavy rain. Around Godridge you can see up to maybe 30 millimeters of rain. A lot of moisture with this. But then let's talk about that snow. This is where it gets really tricky because Gravenhurst, um, you know, let's say uh, Penetanguishene, uh, Oro Medonte, up to Bracebridge, those areas could get that wet sloppy snow. But if you get north of that into Huntsville, I think you're going to get into some heavy snow. Algonquin Park, we're looking at 20 to 25 centimeters of snow. Hey folks. I got a few things to talk about today. I think the biggest one is I'm going to be dropping down to a video every two days instead of every day. And the reason for that is I don't have any videos waiting to go. <laughs> I'm all caught up. Uh, the monster's working now. I got nothing to really fix on it. So I, when the weather gets cold, I don't go out that much anyways. So I'm only going out every two or three days now, so nothing's really happening, and I really don't have anything to do. So today, I think when I went out, it's six degrees out, and it's supposed to be seven this afternoon. So I'm gonna try to get something done out here today. Um, probably putting that wire wrap on, but before I go out, I'm gonna put the basket on, and I know as soon as I put the rest of the screws in the tiller and then mount the basket, I know I'm going to get error code 7, just because. <laughs> well, give me something to do, right? So, yeah, that was the main thing I wanted to say. Uh, I've been doing uh, a video a day, just because I had so much and I was getting behind it, just trying to catch up. It just, I guess I've been doing that for three months now, actually since August. Well, so I don't know how I managed to do that. I get a video out every day for almost four months now. And that's, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> but there's that. Um, we got another Texas low approaching us. Um, the nice thing is this one's going to be pretty much all rain for us here. So we don't have to worry about getting that white stuff, which is nice. But you know, it's just it's probably gonna melt what's left of <laughs> the snow that we have. Uh, most of it's pretty much gone anyways, it's just the snow banks that are left. And the trails where it's packed down from people walking on it, there'll still be some of that. And I got looking at the the forecast, long term forecast and yeah, it looks like we're gonna get some of the coldest temperatures we've had so far this year. So anything that does remain in the trails, you know, with the rain, it's all gonna be hard packed and then when it freezes it's all gonna be ice, so you know, it's just, it's gonna create uh, a hard base, I guess you could say. So when I try driving through the trail when we get the next snow, it's just gonna be slippery because it's gonna have ice underneath it. Unless it's wet snow then it'll <coughs> it'll stick to it and it won't be quite as slippery, it'll be more 
I don't know how to explain it. More of a, a surface to grip, I guess. Or as if we get cold snow, um, then it's just it's like dust on top of the ice, and that makes it more slippery. But either way, so I was sitting at the computer last night, and I laid back to take a break because that's, that's why I use my bed as my computer chair. And when my back gets sore or something, I just lay back. And I did that, and I noticed the sky was pink. So I looked outside. Absolutely beautiful sunset last night. I wish I was out. I tried to get a picture through my window. But my phone... It's the only thing I tried. My phone doesn't like getting pictures through the window because it focuses on the screen. <laughs> so I tried three times. I finally got a picture, but it was just... It doesn't capture the beauty. There are absolutely stunning pictures on Facebook of that sunset. It was just beautiful. But most of them was when it was a dark orange color. And dark orange was gone by the time I saw it. It was more pink than anything. But it was just absolutely beautiful. So if, if I lived out in the country or something, I could have got a really nice picture of it. And like I say, if I was out on the monster, I could have got it on video. It would have been pretty nice. I went up to the soccer fields out in the open it just it would have been beautiful but I didn't go out yesterday I wasn't really dressed to go out well it's not like I ever am but I do but when a sunset like that happens it doesn't last very long so by the time I got dressed and got out and got anywhere it would have been pretty much done so it would have been nice but at least I got a picture of it, uh, sort of somewhat. <laughs> it's kind of give you an idea what it looked like anyway. So, I guess that's it. Uh, again, I gotta do some shopping. It's actually not too bad today. I'm not wearing snow pants or anything, I just got my shoes and just regular pants on. Of course, I got my pajamas on underneath, but, you know, it's... I can't lift high enough for the extra insulation, but I'm not wearing snow pants today. I'll probably regret that, I guess. <laughs> but at least the rain's not supposed to start until tonight. So I got the day to enjoy. And it was sunny at one point in time when I first got up, so... Maybe, possibly, the sun will come out at some point while I'm out. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm hoping to get something done when I go out today, or when I come back. Simply because it's so nice out, but... I don't know. The one thing I, I really want to do is I want to put this wire wrap on, which means i got to take the seat off. So... Try to get that done at least anyways. And then that's done and out of the way. But before I do that, I gotta put that basket on.
is dirt. Oh my goodness. I haven't decided yet whether I'm putting the lights on the back or not. The Christmas lights. That took a lot of energy out of me. <laughs> I'm exhausted now. Hey. Let's go for a tour.
Uh, that's about all my activity for today. I'm not feeling good. I don't feel like uh, doing anything out here right now. Uh, at least I got the basket on. I got the front end finished. And I got my Christmas bow on. <laughs> you know. yeah, so I'll have to save that for another... Maybe I'll come out tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be raining anyways. It's not going to be a nice day, but the temperature doesn't look too bad. So maybe I'll just come out to the garage and do some work. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I was really hoping to get something done today, but you know, like I say, I'm just, I'm just not feeling too good. I went for a drive and just kind of enjoyed what there is, but uh, I don't know what it is. I just, I just feeling blah. Just like kind of feeling like I want to go back to bed. I'm not tired or anything, but it just, just not feeling right today. So, well, like I say, at least I got something done today. Anyways, it wasn't a total wasted day. <laughs> so, that's my activities for today.